So my name is Aaron Wirth. I'm uh, from Lamar's, Iowa. Grew up in Lamar's and then moved to Sioux City, Iowa and was working at a Hy-Vee corporate chain there for almost 10 years and then got into the business from my cousin, Brian Clays, who's the owner of the franchise, co-owner with Travis. Got into it and then moved down to Dallas for a few years and decided to open up my own location in Kansas City. What made you excited about being in the dog industry? So one thing I really loved about the dog industry and when I was in Dallas was seeing the owner's face when they pick up their dogs and being able to see their reaction to how happy and satisfied they were. And a lot of the stories of the owners that were frustrated and they were pent up with their dog, um, just being able to see the story of how happy they were afterwards and then being, knowing that we're there for life too is a big part. So I was really excited to go down there and make some changes with dogs and help out families that are struggling with their, fa with their pa family pets. So. What do you say your biggest obstacles are in the dog training industry? Some of the biggest obstacles are um, some of the owners that don't have time for it when they go home and then they, they wait until a couple weeks later, months later to reach out. Um, but but um, aside from that, a lot, of the, a lot of the owners are super happy and keep up with the training. So And we're there for life, so if they do have any issues, they can reach out. What are you most proud of with the career change? So well, the ownership too of owning the own business and, and being a franchisee owner is really, really great. So I worked for a corporate and they just didn't have as much control, as much you know, animosity as I was looking for. Um, one thing I really love about this is that we set our own schedules, we have our own clientele. So as long as they're happy and we're happy, um, then everything's good. So just being able to work with the owners directly is really nice. Now you were able to scale up um, really quickly. What are some of the what do you think are some of the things that helped you scale at such a quick pace? Yeah, so a big part of being able to scale was when I opened up, I was the fourth location. So then now, since I've opened up 15 other locations, and then our Google algorithm has been able to see that other locations are opening up. So all the other successful locations have all made my location that much more relevant on the Google page. Um, but the website's great, and then also the reviews. Reviews are a big part of people trusting us to trust you know their dogs with us. So we do a lot of reviews with our program and have a lot of happy clients that people read through, of course, before signing up. How has your lifestyle changed since corporate America to the pen, pen industry? Yeah, so my overall health style, I'm so much happier. One thing, you know, waking up and going to the nine to five jobs is, you know, if you don't love what you do, it doesn't matter how much money you make at the end of the day, you know, money's not everything. So when I worked that corporate job, nine to five, working 50 hours a week, um, just every day I'd come home, I wasn't happy, I was stressed. And now every day I work seven days a week, but I love what I do. So I don't feel like I work a single day in my life because working with owners and dogs is just such a passion for me. So compared to working at a retail store or working for another corporate chain that you just don't feel the connection with. How has it changed your life financially? So financially, I'm, I'm so much better off now. I've been able to save, um, develop into savings now, getting getting uh, you know new vehicles now that I've never been able to have before, um, and also just being able to set myself up for success down the road um, and not feeling like you're playing the rat race of trying to climb up a corporate chain um, where it would take 5, 10, 15 years to be able to you know be well off then. Where do you see yourself in five years? So where I see, I see myself in the next five years owning two to three locations and being able to manage all of them and all the employees under them um, and then just being able to bounce around from one location to the other and helping out where they need, helping train new trainers and making sure that the staff and all the team is doing well off. What are some of the things that you think sets all dogs and leashed apart from other companies? So our training philosophy is really the best that's out there. Um, and I know because we've tr we train dogs every day that come out of other training programs and ours is the last program they need because of our training philosophy. And the way that we do it here is that we make it the dog's idea so it's not fear-based, it's the dog's decision. And when it's their idea, it's gonna be so much more successful when they go home rather than other things that other people do out there. Our program and technique is really the best of the best. And being able to have owners have that control where they can go to a dog park, they can live in downtown Kansas City, and they're not worried about the interactions they have on a day-to-day -day basis because of their dog wanting to say hi and wanting to jump on people. So having a great well-trained dog in a downtown area in a big city is really, really awesome. What are the two things that you're most proud of with your decision to go with All Dogs Unleashed? 
Yeah. Um, so one thing that's just, you know, the biggest thing that I'm proud of now is just the, the building and the, the property that I have now. I'm really, really proud of that. Um, being able to have 10, 13 acres of land, have dogs on it. So I've been able to have, now we have, you know, land and, and opportunities to grow on that. Um, and then two, just the financial well-offness that we are now doing so much better and also happier with it. How do you feel about the guidance you received from Travis and Brian? So Brian and Travis, they've been able to help me out anytime I need, you know, any issues, any questions I have, they're always there, they're responding, they're helping me out. Um, my cousin Brian came down here and helped me out in the last couple of years, getting all my things on track. Anytime I have questions, they help me out. So they've been a great support for me and I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at without them for sure. Do you feel confident that most of the time you're always gonna get really good results with the training? So the big thing about our training philosophy is that it works for every dog, the way we teach them. It doesn't matter if they're stubborn, seven years old, every dog that comes out of the program, they all learn with the reward systems that we use, and as well as our training equipment that you're not able to jump, you're not able to pull on the leash, and with consistency, every dog will be able to do this. So there's no dog that I think that is not able to complete this program. Now you started off doing it out of your home. Uh, your, home your goal is to eventually have a facility. Yes, How yeah. How do you picture that? So I would definitely like the facility to be on some land. I, I definitely like the idea of the land being there for the dogs to be able to roam. Um, and then just having a really nice, clean facility. Uh, so how was like your first year getting started up with all dogs in Can unleashed in Kansas City? <laughs> so my first year I didn't have Google set up. So yeah. um, no, I mean, the first year was definitely a little bit more challenging. The first couple of months were definitely a little bit more challenging as I was the fourth location to open up. Now that there's 12, 15, 20 locations and growing, it's a lot easier. But, you know, we definitely tried going out and going to veterinaries, tried going out to dog parks. But what honestly worked the best was the online research um, because those are people who are struggling who need the help. And that's where the online research of All Dogs Unleashed and the SEO company that we have set up, that's really directing people to us. So after we had that up and rolling, I was getting phone calls after phone calls after the first couple months so and I have no problem you know getting dogs in and having people connect with us every day how many leads do you typically get a day so on average we get between 10 15 leads a day people that are interested in our program whether it be from referrals whether it be from online research um, and then out of those 10 or 15 people we're able to sign between three to five ten people up a day um, on average four to five weeks booked out um, so getting them getting them in and getting them taken care of Tell me a little bit, since you've had the dog training, have you been able to travel? Yeah, so one great thing about this program too is that we go out to different seminars that are out there um, and then also just being able to explore and, and you know learn new cities and, and new locations that I'm interested in opening up a location with so we can go out to Boston and go check that out. Um, I'm opening up a second location hopefully in Chicago so they've given me opportunities to go out there and explore and check out the new areas there whereas I wouldn't have had that opportunity with my last company. Are you happy with your decision to be a part of the All Dogs Unleashed team? Yeah, I'm super happy to be part of this All Dogs Unleashed team, and I'm super happy with the network of trainers that we all have. And every one of us owners, we all reach out and we help each other out because we're all dealing with the same issues. So it's nice to be able to balance things off, not just what's happening in Dallas, but other locations, being able to reach out to Denver, being able to reach out to other locations as well. So, How do you feel overall about the All Dogs Unleashed team? So the All Dogs and Leash team is, is a great team. A lot of us are all family and friends now, so I'm really happy with the network of team that we have here, and it's really great to be able to connect with them and, and touch base with them you know, on a weekly basis and, and help each other out, so it's a great team. Tell me, how many cars did you have when you moved down to Kansas City? So when I moved down to Kansas City, I had uh, two vehicles, and then right now, in the last three years, I've personally gained three nice vehicles that are all nice new vehicles. And then our work business now has three work vehicles as well. So that way we can load up dogs, we can load up different dogs, we can go to different people's homes and, ha and travel. And then also those vehicles every day are out there with our All Dogs Unleashed advertising and marketing. And so every day people are calling us just off our vehicles um, from seeing us out and about, out in Home Depot and Bass Pro Shop, out in public environments doing training there.